myself, I'm Tommy, and then I'm Laurie's student, and then I'm your student, and then how are you today? I'm great, thanks. How are you? Okay, I'm good. Yes. Okay, so let's begin our question, alright? Yeah. Uh, first question, in your schedule, yeah, I can see most of your time are spending like eating, right? Um, what else do you do, uh, what else do you normally do in your schedule? My spare time? Yeah. Uh, my spare time. So I uh, I own a fitness club oh, fitness in club. Aldershot on Plains Road. So yeah. uh, I'm a my hobby is fitness. I, I play ball hockey and ice hockey. Ball hockey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I I'm a hockey player and I have six children. So oh my god. So spare time is mainly taken by all of them. <laughs> have you ever tried like rowing? And we have a cottage up in Perry Sound, so I we have kayaks. Oh, kayak. So it's kind of like rowing, yeah, but it's, uh, kind of it's a two, two handle. So I yeah. I do kayaking or paddle boarding. Oh, paddle boarding uh, up, yeah. up north uh, on the lake. That's we're great. Okay, uh, why do you support Lowry College in the opening day, and what do you think Lowry College can bring to Burlington? Uh, I just think it's fantastic to have uh, this education facility uh, yeah. in Burlington. I there's not a lot of private. Uh, colleges uh, for high school level in Burlington, so this really fits a, a niche that I don't think Burlington has. You know, Oakville has Appleby College, yeah. and Hamilton has uh, Hillfield, yeah, Hillfield yeah, College, Hillfield. but Burlington didn't really have a, a private college, so I think this is a fantastic addition to the education offering for Burlington. Yeah, very good to hear that. Yeah. Yeah. I love Blue River much. Yeah. Okay, um, the third question is, uh, what are the exact things you have done during the event? Because I learned business uh, and I love business and the economic. And then I heard you do, you get very big success in the happy event, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I, I've been working with many businesses uh -huh. to try and help them get through the process of getting a permit to build. So, um, you know, getting a permit to build a facility or getting a, a zoning. A uh, certificate can be very complex in Burlington, and uh, unless they have a professional consultant, it's very hard to get that kind of documentation. So uh, sometimes they call me and I help them get through the process. I know the people to call, um, and then, uh, you know, some things are, you know, just, you know, the city will say this is necessary to have this document, yeah. but sometimes it's not necessary. So I'll, I'll work with them and try and help them through the process. And we're, we're trying to speed up the permit process by uh, by getting some digital processes. So digital instead process. of handing in a, you know, it used to, before COVID, you had to hand in a big roll of uh, your architectural drawings. Yeah, exactly. Now that's all moved to digital. So oh. we've, as a council, we've, we've uh, tried to hurry that process and, and COVID kind of made it necessary because you no longer want to hand something from somebody else. Yeah. Right, so hope it really helped with that, and, and hopefully it will speed up the process for people to get there. That's for a huge improvement. Yeah, yeah, very good. Okay, um, hi. Uh, may I ask you about the budget and strategy planning for like aging pl uh, plaza and the construction? For aging plazas? Yeah. Okay, so um, we have a lot of aging plazas in our city, um, and our new official plan uh, gives different permissions to plazas. So we've seen uh, the retail market decline, especially since COVID. Uh, so a lot of these retail plazas are losing tenants and becoming vacant. So uh, the new official plan gives different permissions for plazas. So we're seeing a lot of plazas being purchased and redevelopment happening happening there. For instance, in Tyndaga, there was an old plaza, now we're going to see a retirement home built there. Um, and there's various plazas along Plains Road that are getting re rebuilt into condos. Um, so if you want to talk about the budget, this helps our tax base because you know you get a bigger use, bigger building out of the same piece of land, uh, which contributes more to the tax base. Um, so, you know, Burlington is evolving and a lot of these older classes are being developed. Ah. Um, the last question is, um, like, have you taken any action to improve the potential of the uh, agent area, like the go station or something like old class? So the go station, um, are we talking about the Aldershot go station? Yeah. Okay, so the Aldershot go station has been identified as, a, we call it an MTSA now. MTSA. Major transit station area. 
So the provincial government has identified all of the major transit station areas in the GTA as growth hubs. So Aldershot being one of them, we are going to see massive redevelopment in that growth station. So we will see the industry leave, the heavy industry like the paving companies, the concrete companies, they are going to be leaving there and we're going to see redevelopment in its development. So we'll see condos, we'll see retail, we'll see parkland. We want those major transit station areas to be areas where people want to live. And they're right beside a go station, so you'll be able to walk to the go station, walk to your park, walk to your grocery options. So it's going to be a fully community, livable, walkable, play, work, sleep, everything. So they're, they're going to be new, uh, basically new little cities that will be in the yeah, actually, this question is based on my like business uh, accounting yeah. question, so I think it's a very good answer. Good answer. Good. Yeah, we really appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. No problem. Yeah. Thanks very much. Thanks very much. Yeah. There 